Okay, I am late. I know no one has hopped on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, and that way, uh, if people do hop on, they can also watch it as a replay later. And hopefully people will hop on and, and ask some questions. If not, what I'm here to share with you guys is about our Color 10 success rhythm. So it doesn't matter if you're new to Color Street, if you've been with Color Street for a year or a year and a half, because Color 10 is what we call in our business the success rhythm that can really make you and your business soar. Um, and it really is the formula that I use. It's a formula that our top leaders use um, in not just our own with Debbie Bry. Um, she's amazing. Jackie McGowan is also a leader in our organization. But just across the organization of Color Street, Color 10 is something that is used by so many women because it really does work. So I wanted to share that with you guys to get your biz off to a really big boost um, in February. So we're already, I know it's been crazy, the weather's been crazy here. Many of you guys are local to Michigan, some of you aren't, and also experiencing some weird weather patterns. Um, and it's just, it's, I don't know, I feel like the, the start of the year is always, you know, you're, you're trying to juggle a million things, trying to make some positive changes. And I've had a lot of people reach out about their business. So I thought I would come on and just share some of the tips, um, some of my own incorporated with the overall Color 10 success rhythm. So let's get started. The C is for connecting. So what I challenge you to do is to come up with a number that you of people that you will connect with every single day. So for me, that number is 10. My goal is to connect with 10 people a day. That might be teammates. Um, but primarily, it's customers, former customers, or people that I think would really love the nail polish. You guys, our product is so amazing and easy to use and share. That's what I love about it. You know, I was talking to my mom yesterday about, you know, she's like, man, I never thought I would see you doing anything with direct sales. And I was like, mom, I, I love the product. She's like, I know. I sh She's somebody who our whole lives never, ever, ever took time for herself. And this product, and she, this is what she said yesterday, is this product, it just, it makes me feel pretty. And it's so inexpensive. Um, and the fact that you can share it. I mean, I've had people reach out to me that my mom shared samples with. You know, she gives them my business card and then they reach out to me. You know, I'm, I'm also recruiting my people in my circle to also go out and refer me. So those count, you guys. They're not personal connections. They don't count for my 10, but it gives me new people to make connections with. And that is the tenet of the Color 10 success rhythm, is connecting with people. So come up with a number. Go back to your frank list, right? Friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, people you know through your kids or your nieces and nephews. Use every connection you have. If you know other women in direct sales, reach out to them. Ask them how they've had success. Ask to get into their networks. You know, I've done that a lot. I've reached out, and, and that's, that's where I'm at right now as well, is getting those 10 people to reach out to every week, or for me, every day, for you possibly every week. It is really focusing on who have I not shared the business with? Who have I shared? Who have I not shared the product with? Who, you know, those are the people I'm looking to connect to. So I urge you to get a number and do it. Two a day is pretty reasonable. If you're touching your business that often, just for that twice a day, I mean, you guys, we have an awesome BQ incentive for the next couple months. That is really one party. If you're trying to just share the product and people to buy from you, that can get difficult with $300 in a month because our product is so inexpensive. So reach out and get those parties. That's gonna be the next piece, which is our O, which is for offering. So when you're offering the, I don't even wanna say uh, business or bookings or products, cause you can really do it all. I know I've shared this trick before, but I always think of the offering piece as like a bullseye. What do I really want to, to offer and get with sharing my love for Color Street? And ultimately, it is to build my team. Um, and why? Because I think this business has so much potential for any single type of women. You can be 20, you can be 70, you can be white, you can be Hispanic, you can be from California, from Michigan, from Florida. You guys, it is universal because every single woman 
has fingernails and it's an easy product. It's not another beauty product where, you know, it only, you know, you have to figure out what works for this person and what works for this person. And I love, there's so many fantastic, you know, other direct selling companies, but I would say with ours, the unique part is everybody can wear the nail polish as is any age, any color, any religion. I mean, our nail strips are breathable, which is awesome. So even, um, you know, some, some faiths, uh, need breathable nail polish. And we have that. I mean, literally we can give this product and share this product with everybody. So offer it. That is the O, right? I offer the product as far as samples go. So think back and make that frank list and say, who have I not shared this product with? Who have I not shared a sample with? Reach out to them, send them a text, send them a message. You guys, I always have scripts that I use. Um, I don't type, I mean, I try to make it personal because the connecting piece is really personal to me. I try to make everyone personal in some way, shape or form. Um, and that is really important. It's just making those connections, building those relationships. That's all in the connecting piece. But the offering piece can be in there because, hey, I've got, I'm with Color Street. I don't know if you've ever tried the product. I think you would absolutely love it. Or I think your daughter would absolutely love it. Um, I wanna share a sample with you and just get your feedback. Any feedback is helpful for me. It helps me to understand how people feel about the product, what they find easy about it. It's things that I can share with my customers. You know, reaching out to them that way is easier than, can you buy from me? Or posting a link on Facebook. So really focus on making those personal connections and offering either to share the product or maybe it's a customer that you've had and you're offering a nail bar. You guys, one nail bar is basically the $300 PV that you can get for the BQ incentive. You know, set your goals. I mean, some people have financial goals. I know I do, and that's what drives me. Some people just joined on to Color Street because they absolutely love making other women feel better about themselves. And while I absolutely love that, my ultimate goal is financially. So I keep those numbers. I'm a very big numbers person. I keep the numbers in my head of how many parties do I want to hold? What are my sales goals for the month? You know, and again, sharing the product is a lot easier when you have a hostess who's passionate and loves the product and is getting those people to you, basically giving you referrals, right? And what's amazing about that is that's basically your number for the week. You know, if I have a nail bar, I've reached out for me, at least to the amount of people that I want in a day, if they're getting that eight to 10, right? So again, offering, you know, offer the, offer the business, you guys, it is, a, you know, it is something that's changed my life. And if, if you don't have a story yet about how Color Street has changed your life, use mine. I'd be happy to chat with you. Bring me into your lives in your Facebook groups. Um, one of the things I want to do is start bringing in teammates to my lives on my Facebook groups, letting them see someone else other than me um, and letting them hear from somebody else other than me. But I would love to do that for you. Join in just on a live on your Facebook group and talk about the business. Maybe you don't want to, I'd love to. You know, it, it really has some incredible earning potential. Um, offer a nail bar. I think of it like a bullseye though, and that middle piece is, and I always show this whenever I do this, is right here is the enrolling piece, the booking, and then the sales. Sometimes if you're only reaching out for people to buy the product, it does make it, they don't even think in their head about booking, or obviously enrolling and, and joining this amazing business where you get to make people feel awesome by selling them a, pro, a nail polish product, right? That's super inexpensive and easy to do. Again, anybody can do it. So think about, you know, 10 contacts per week. I like to think of it daily. So I have that checklist and I'm keeping up with who have I connected with. And you guys, the connections do not always have to be offering something. Just reaching out and building your relationships are super important. So social media, during your nail bars, uh, meeting up with someone that wants to try the product, a stranger that you compliment her nails or she compliments yours, you know, all of those go into those connections, ways to offer um, what Color Street has to offer, which is the business, um, the nail bars, and the nail polish. But even, like I said, just reaching out and building relationships, even just start there if you feel like you don't want to push something on someone else, then just reach out and build relationships. And then sharing the samples, just, I think you would absolutely love this. Can I send you one? Can you send me your address? I would love your feedback on the product, 
right? So then it's not like buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. I think it's just a totally different mindset. So that's the O. So come up with that number. Listening, right? You know, listen to what they say when you ask them if they want to try the product or if they have tried the product or if they decided not to book or whatever they're, whatever they're saying to you, really sit back and listen and don't just offer like a solution to it. Um, the, the L piece is really the listening and that follows really closely with the O, which is objection. So if you're getting objections and you guys, nobody likes, everybody hates objections. I never like reaching out and people saying no to me, but you know what? Every time I get a no, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to get that. Yes. I'm going to get that. Yes. Like that's okay. It's not for them right now, but it could be for them later on. So even those people that say no, I come back to them using the feel felt found method, which is, I totally felt that same way, you know, or for example, let's say, and this is a really common objection to, you know, the, the business, right? Like you have a customer, she loves it, or you have a friend that absolutely loves it. And you say to her, you would be amazing at being a color street stylist. Why haven't you joined me yet? Why haven't you launched your own nail biz? I would be happy to help you get started. And she says, I am too busy, right? Trust me, you guys, I'm too busy. Look, I'm in my shirt because I coach my daughter's team today. My son has a game first, right? Everybody's busy. That's okay. I don't, I don't just say like, I'm really busy, right? You don't want to just come back and disregard how they're feeling. So feel, felt, found. I say, I felt the exact same way when I first even considered joining Color Street because I thought, how am I going to fit that into my schedule? But, right, so feel, right, empathizing with her. I totally felt the same way. Felt, tell them how you felt. And then found is the key. So I found that if I can schedule three to four hours a week to touch my business, that I could really build something that was incredible and give me enough money to pay for one of my bills. And that's the really key piece is that I found I could schedule it in the mornings on Saturday for an hour. I could do Sunday mornings before the kids got up for an hour or after bed for 30 minutes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know, that goes along with calendar blocking and that that's for us too, is really you guys schedule your time to touch your business. You know, what are your goals with Color Street? How are you gonna connect with people? You know, I'm big on lists and checking things off and making sure that I'm hitting the goals that I wanna hit with this business because I have big dreams with Color Street. I hope you do too, because I would absolutely love to help you to reach them. Honestly, you guys, you see my dream board back there, which you guys, I know need some help, but I think about those things. What do I want? What am I looking to get from this business? You know, I'm a teacher by day. I love my job, but yesterday I was the busiest I swear I've ever been in a day and the earning potential is the same, right? I love, there's awesome perks. I do love my job, right? But with Color Street, I know that if I'm following this method and I'm doing these things and I'm touching my business, the potential to grow is seriously exponential, right? And so when I'm responding to somebody's objections, especially about the business, I do put into my own, how, how my own life is or the life of someone else on my team, but I, I want to make sure to not disregard how they're feeling. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then the last R, so that's our, right? So we've got connecting, we've got offering, we've got listening, we've got objections. And then our R, which is really important, that is recruiting, is building your team, you guys. We are a party planning business, but ultimately with direct sales, it's about team building. Um, and it's not, when I think team building, it's not pyramid at all. I really want to share this business and my goal right now is 10 new people, 10 new people. I say this year, but honestly, I would love to do it in the next two months. Um, and so again, that is something that I'm sharing with my customers right now. So I'm asking them to give me referrals. So right now, part of my connecting is saying, I have huge dreams with Color Street and I would be honored if you would help me towards my goal. You know, my goal is to get is to help 
um, or actually I use the word mentor, to mentor 10 women this year with Color Street because I believe this is an incredible vehicle to change your life financially. It, it totally has mine. I would be honored if you would refer me to anybody that is looking for some extra income, looking for a side gig, unhappy with their current job, um, just a go-getter and is, is excited or loves color streets. Maybe someone you've already shared your polish with and you know that they love it. So this is a message or a text. It's not that long. I could share it with you guys. But I'm asking them to refer people to me instead of always just saying, you want to join my business? And you guys would be amazed at how many people have responded to me, either that they've actually thought about the business or even that they've had friends that have talked to them about the business. And what's amazing about that is if I had just said, do you want to, do you want to become a Color Street stylist? A lot of them wouldn't even respond. So the verbiage of getting these referrals are partly how you're going to get to your goal of recruiting and enrolling people to your team. And you guys, do not be nervous. Of, you guys, the business is incredible. I mean, there's the product is so inexpensive, right? Like, we get to walk around with our samples, right? We get to use these. We get to walk around with them. We get to share them with people. We get to have people look at their hands. You guys, how many times are you still looking at your own hands? This is day 12, by the way. This is Miami Beach, mainly moms, and um, can study. I absolutely love it. You know, just do not think of it like you're bugging somebody, you guys. You're sharing an opportunity for someone to start their own small business. Like, there's nothing to be nervous about. Some people are ready for it and want it, and some people don't. That's okay. But sharing that you're going to mentor, that there's training, that, you know, whatever you guys need, we are here for you. We've got awesome um, training on be Beautifully Polished just like the team name, B-E-Y-O-U, and then Tipley um, is on YouTube. But share that with people too, that you're not just like, hey, buy a kit. In, in some businesses, it is more about the amount of people, right? That's not how it is in Color Street. You're really looking to find people that want to work the business and do incredible things. And I'd be happy to, to help. It's not just you. So if you're like, I don't even know what I'm doing, that's okay. Like, that's why we have leaders on our team, right? Like me, like Dina Doyle, like Jackie McGowan, like Deb Meeks, like Ellen Jackson. I mean, we have so many incredible leaders. Obviously, we have Debbie Bright. I mean, I can name a million across all, all of Beautifully Polished um, that you can definitely help um, that your new people can, can be trained by as well, not just you. So, you know, always remember your why. Do that. Think of the color 10 again as your success rhythm. Like that is how I continue to repeat. So when I'm reaching out, those are the things I'm thinking about. Offering, listening, um, listening to those objections and using that feel, feel felt found. And then also um, ultimately getting people to also become color street stylists. Because like I said, it's amazing. And some people, it ends up not being for them. Some people absolutely love it. Um, and just sell to their friends. And some have made a career out of it. Some have quit their jobs, right? So there's all, there's a huge, or, you know, range of what people are looking for, but offer it. You never know who needs this business blessing. And it truly is a blessing. I usually, I'm not like that super, oh my gosh, kind of person, but you guys talk to, talk to me, reach out to another leader or a teammate. Um, and just listen to their story if you don't quite have one yet, especially some of you guys are new to Color Street and just kind of figuring out what's going on. I hope this training helped and reach out. I have some other um, things that I definitely want to go over and even fleshing out some of these letters a little bit more in future trainings, but I would be happy to help you guys in any way. Um, any topics or if you would like to schedule a coaching call with me, I would be happy to set that up. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope this was really helpful. Bye, guys.